Nard out here with the new CSGO tricks and tips video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and comment. I greatly appreciate your support. This first trick was submitted by Casperinos from my Discord who shared this video from Random Guy on YouTube. Doing a 5 man boost near the T apartment entrance, you're able to see above the roof towards mid. What an insane boost. Mopes will boost his teammate new box and goes to second oranges where he crouches and he's going to throw a one way smoke for his boosted teammates when contact or the execute comes in. He's going to aim at this part of new box then left click throw. This smoke works in the same way as the Zillion one way smoke I shown before. What's nice about this smoke as well is that it will put out any mollies that are thrown or are thrown after the smoke is thrown. So if your teammate wants to jump off the boost, there won't be a molly under them to burn them. Rolling with an insane A site retake utility set where he throws the site one way smoke and a molly to clear anyone back site. He stands in the middle of the door for the smoke, aim at this part of the window, then left click throw. As for the molly, aim as shown, then jump throw. Afterwards, the smoke gives him cover to get into site where he jumps onto the box which gives him the one way. He doesn't have to worry about clearing back corner or close box because the molly will cover those positions. Aesthetic are going to use this ledge boost for their solo rifle, putting it in a good position to get a pick. Fast shards on top while Bird from Sky has a smoke out and he will either smoke on contact or before the execute happens which the later happens here. They're going to stay in this boost after the smoke gets thrown because Fasher is able to see over the smoke where he gets the pick onto Zedko. Juan Flacho smokes T stairs for his teammates to push mid. He's going to stay in the middle of the two white paint, aims at the second X to the left then jump throw. The smoke will deny vision from stairs and gives cover for his mid teammate to fall back banana if need be. Most of the time when T's are retaking Banana, they'll throw a flash in case an offer is holding. Ark gets flashed off the angle and he knows that Bowden might be peeking after the flash, so he's going to jump spot, which draws Bowden's shot, which allows Ark to re-peek and kills Modem. Another way you could force a T's offer off the angle is to flash when you take contact or if the T's flash when Torzi does after he makes contact jump spotting. Unfortunately his flash doesn't go deep enough and Torzi misses his shot but you get the idea. Blame F jiggle peeking CT hasn't made any contact yet and he's gonna molly car then he will smoke it off. Zipex who's at coffins will flash him through the smoke and Blame goes through it. He knows no one's gonna be on his left since he was jiggle peeking earlier and Blame F doesn't spot anyone near car and he holds near the smoke giving him a bit of cover. This off angle will net him two frags. You can see here from Mopus's POV that he wasn't expecting Blame to be there. Synopsy is Coffins and ASG are going to execute B site. He throws a smoke off Fountain which will give him the space and cover to push up to Fountain instead of just running through the T's Coffin smoke which ASG will then be able to spot him coming through. JT has another way to throw the same smoke but from behind Dark Pillar. He aims here at the bottom of the Coffins then left click throw when contact is made by Floppy Coffins or an execute is about to happen. Besides giving space for Floppy to come through, what this smoke also does is that it gives cover from Pool which Jamal jumps on top of Coffins to see over the smoke, killing JT. Barton has the perfect lineup for mid flash from Long, standing in the middle of the two mailboxes, aims the middle of the antenna, then left click throw. Here, Godson are just making it look like someone is peeking off the flash, even though they don't have anyone to do so. S4 flashes apartments for his teammate balcony to push in. He stands behind the bike, aims at this grass, then jump throw. The flash blinds Zyphon, setting up smash for the frag. Here's a short one way smoke submitted by Octobliss through my discord. In pit stand at this line, aim here at the door then left click throw. You're going to be able to see if the T's swing from mid while the T's won't be able to spot you. Problem with this smoke is that you can get molly out of position and it makes the smoke useless as well as how long the smoke takes to bloom. Before we get into the Mirage tricks, I have to tell you about my discord, one of the best CSGO communities to learn about the game. Whether you're silver in matchmaking, level 10 face it, or you're a pro, there's a bunch of resources available as well as members that are very helpful. You can get exclusive looks at the tricks first that you're seeing from this video. And lastly, we can't forget about the Discord exclusives where I'm at over 350 tactics that can only be seen on my Discord and not available on either YouTube channels. I upload about 3-4 to four new tactics a week in my Discord. Make sure to join using the link below in the description. If window is smoked off and you want to spot the boost from the T's then you could hold the light. It will flicker if the T's boost into window which Elige spots then sprays the smoke. So knowing this piece of information, Elige on T's side will be under window and he's going to throw his gun into the air to mimic the window boost. The gun will block the light causing it to flicker. The only problem with this is that you're going to hear the gun drop. 
One suggestion is to jump and throw your gun, which then you could catch it as well as you're making a jumping noise to sell the boost even more. Shout out to Masamaduck for showing me this. Brolin inside connector underhands a smoke that will give him a one way to peak top mid. However, no one from Astralis comes into his sight. Then he goes to the other side and peeks underpass and doesn't spot anyone there as well. This smoke makes it really hard to spot Brolin. Give this smoke a try in your next pug or matchmaking game and I guarantee you'll find a frag with it. Dexter smokes ramp from CT standing in the back right corner, aim here, then jump throw. Tapson has a simple effective flash that he throws off this wall here as he pushes out connector to peak mid that will blind any T's going fast mid which in this round is a Cillian who gets wrecked by it. After clearing ramp early into the round, Tizian throws the deep ramp one way smoke where he can spot T roof and doesn't see anyone. His teammates mid let him know that Apex are defaulting where then Tizian makes a play and pushes the smoke knowing there can only be a couple of positions that the default A player can be playing or elsewise in palace. He sees the ramp flash thrown and times Deco hugging the wall as Deco's on the platform. Both players go by each other without knowing and fast forward to Tizian flanking mid where he has good trigger discipline and gets a 3k. Norbert with the AK dies mid and Neelan who is the only player without a rifle who was in apartments comes back mid and has a nade where he uses it to blow the AK back to him and with the AK gets a frag into the short player. Well played by Neelan. Norbert behind the boxes top mid is going to flash under the boxes through the gap however the flash misses and doesn't go through all the way. I want to see if it was possible to do so and yes you can flash through this gap under the top mid boxes. Exit power inside palace throws flashes that land above the roof. He crouches in the corner, aims at this part of the wood then left click throw. These flashes are way better than throwing them into dark. They're not going to cover ticket as you can see but they still cover a lot of other positions on A. You can smoke market window from behind the top mid boxes by using these two points as the reference and then where they meet up that's where you're going to aim then jump throw. The smoke will bounce off the top of the pillar and into market window. Credit to Deco. If you have any cool tricks or nades you want to show off join my discord to share them and you might find them in my next pro tricks video. Discord link is below in the description box. As you saw you could spam the bottom of this door on short and you might get lucky with a frag onto underpass. Default after plant molly and flash for a market window on B site. For both nades you'll aim in the same position which is near the end of this white line then right and left click jump throw. The molly will delay the CTs to advance and the flash will blind anyone holding the angle. These are safe to throw as well and use this if you don't have a smoke. Credit to Jay-Z Jason for this. SC Pero has a wall bang lineup for the T's op boost if they're boosting on their left side where he gets behind the wall and aims at the middle of this screw on the door. He waits a bit to shoot to allow Gafalo to fully come out to peek doors and then wall bangs him through the door. Here it is without the x-ray showing you that he aims in the middle of the circle here. From Gafalo's POV he starts towards the left holding the mid push then swings out where he gets deleted. Give this wall bang a try in your pugs and matchmaking games if you want to be called a cheater after landing it. Apex did a mid to B and flames are gonna save. The CT smoke is still up and Jacob's gonna jump on top of the box to peak CT and A where he gets a frag to Roy and almost gets another. I did not know this jump was even possible and this is the first time I've ever seen it done. Monacy with mid round long A control nade set standing right side garage. He smokes corner aiming left of this roof then left click throw. He will follow it up with two flashes. The first flash is for door, crouching on the rock, aiming at the tire, then jump throw. Then moves one step to his right for the long flash, aiming here at the wall, then jump throw. The second flash will blind Zipex, playing blue. Body will smoke long a corner on this back wall near spawn. He aims at this part of the fence, then run throw bind. Heat will boost behind this smoke, however, they're not going to find anybody. Astralis are coming out long A and Alexi B inside pit throws a defensive one way smoke against the wall in front of him. Then jumps atop of the ledge where you can see over the smoke however doesn't find a frag using it. It could be difficult to spot Alexi B as you can see here. 
Icer is coming out long A mid round and Goofy Molly's door off the wall which does massive damage onto 3 of the Iceris players. Then he throws a defensive smoke giving him cover and space to work with after flashing. He will try to peek around the smoke but unfortunately doesn't find anyone. However he does a really good job when delaying Iceris progression giving some time for his teammates to rotate. Boris will smoke short from pit however misses the smoke as it leaves a gap to the left. After this clip ends here I'm going to show you the lineup I found. So you're going to stand at this mark on the wall, aim to the right of this window, then jump through. The smoke doesn't go as deep and it does leave a small gap to the left. If you know a better lineup, feel free to share it with me. In my previous trick video, I showed Nico throwing this A site defensive smoke in the corner. This time around he smokes mid site and then he jumps on top of double where he can see over the smoke and it gives him a one way to work with, which he gets the frag here. Crimbo is going to solo fake B execute with drop utility from his teammate. He will even sell the fake even more by going close to the wall and pulling the pin of his utility in case any CTs are playing car, which they would hear. If you want to see this full tactic, you can click at the annotation above and I'll link the video below in the description as well as you can find it on nades out here. When defaulting T side, you often see the top mid player flashing short for tunnel players to swing. Well, Big have taps in here flash lower tunnels in case anyone is playing side tunnels or push up Xbox peaking lower. Big Clan post plant on B site will boost window to peak CT mid. Look at how they boost. They position to where they can't get spotted using the pillar for when they boost. Then Crimbo once on top will move to the right where he can spot spawn and we'll get the frag into J chem coming through from door. Here's a tip, if you play to the left of this double stack on B site, you're able to avoid the most common B flashes thrown in the right cubby. Searson with B retake flashes from this back corner in CT mid, aiming at this part of the box, then jump throw. This flash covers many positions on B. Jacob has this one way smoke mid door to peak left side CT mid. He stands in front of the box lower tunnels, puts his crosshair here on Xbox, then left click throw. He will then advance in peak door where he has a gap to see left side CT mid, however won't spot anyone. Sfat goes fast mid to short and on his way down throws the fast Xbox molly smoke combo. This smoke allows the T's also to jump on top of the ledge to peek over the smoke to spot left side CT mid, which Rajan does tagging up Patsy. This is the fastest way to throw this combo I believe. Patsy's opping mid and he jumps over and spots a fast mid player, then tries to peek him, however the smoke lands and he can no longer spot Cat. Teams are using this combo to get up fast short. Ago has a different way to throw the Xbox Molly smoke combo with Ferland jumping down and Molly Xbox while Lee Man his teammate smokes it near the ledge, aiming here then jump throw. I've shown Forrester with a long A self boost. Matches does the same except he has a different lineup where he is staying behind the door, aims top left of this box, then moves forward until he gets stuck, then he will turn to his right and crouch jump up. Chopper is going to fast boost Patsy onto shirt and then afterwards will flash mid in case any T's are rushing mid or cat which would blind them setting up Patsy up for their frag which he swings off of. This flash could be a hard counter to a fast mid play from the T's who rush down suicide at the start of the round. Fiku got fast boosted short with the scout and he nades lower doing damage to the T's and after the Xbox smoke fades he's gonna jump shoot with a scout peeking lower and he's gonna connect him to fame with the second shot fragging him. Is it time to bring back the jump scout? Mopes throws a one way smoke monster from the pit ramp standing in front of the pole of this wall, aims bottom of this line then he's gonna jump throw. Afterwards he pushes up into monster where there's going to be a gap on the left side of the smoke. Mopes is going to fully push through, doesn't spot anybody, and his teammates will fully rotate. Careful using the smoke because the T's might keep their eyes on the smoke, seeing how far the smoke is pushed out, so they might keep an eye on it and watch it. Henny pushes into water with an op, and instead of having his teammate open that door, Taco instead will blow up the door, which Henny is posted on, and gets a frag to Cirque walking up connector. You see a lot more teams delaying the door nade to try to catch the T's off guard and give them the false sense of security that they can walk up connector and not have to worry about any other positions outside of con as we see here with Cirque knives out as he walks up after holding for the initial con peak. Davig from the jump spot will nade and flash short pipe while Mopes mollies it off and rushes water to swing off the flash killing a blind Steeko.
Bird from Sky mollies barrels from behind the sign in water. He's going to aim at this dark mark on the wall, then jump throw. You can definitely combo this with the Heaven Smoke and Flashes. I was watching James stream, and after planting default, he smoked Heaven by standing, aiming where the wood meets his bridge, then left click throw. This is a safe way to do so. There is a really strong flash you could throw as a CT that covers Fountain and Playground. Stand here and you'll run until you hit that line on the wall, then jump throw. You'll be aiming at this mark on the wall here. I want to give credit to JTR, who is the coach for Nygma Galaxy Female, for showing me this. The flash is going to land high right in front of this pillar here, and it's going to flash both sides, Fountain as well as Playground. Did you know you could wall bang the glade position with a rifle, which happens here in this round with Deco spraying his AK through the blue container, tagging up and damaging SP Paro. I should also mention that snipers as well as the Deagle can wall bang as well. Crimbo Molly's top hut at the start of the round, forcing any CTs from getting on top of top hut, then will nade the Tetris off angle CTs hold for door. He stands on top of the ladder, aims middle of this window, then runs two sets for and jump throw. The nade will finish Krad with Tizzing at door spraying the smoke tagging up Krad. Alien gets run boosted to get to main fast to peak door which as you can see he gets there before the door even gets naded and he tags up Alex afterwards with his op. In my previous trick video I showed config smoking door from second vent and then pushing the smoke into the right side door. Well he does the same here except this time around it's at the start of the round. He smokes door coming up into heaven and then sprays the smoke a bit. Walks up into the smoke to the right of the door and faces the smoke where he spots Spinks in the back and kills him. Alien has these upper flashes that I haven't seen yet from this lineup here, but they kind of defeat the purpose because he doesn't combo them with the molly which he has, which most often you see that utility set standing next to the small silo where T's are molly back sight and then flashing after. If you throw the standard secret smoke wall and you're crossing to secret and the CTs throw a one way smoke inside secret or if you get flash, you can get inside the smoke and advance through the smoke wall using it as cover and not get spotted which Roy does here and he surprises Nickel back inside secret. Crimbo with an upper retake flash staying near this line on the right wall. He aims above the door then jump throw. Tapsen who is inside heaven will jump down with the cover of the bucket retake smoke killing a blind Nickel back. Tizian inside control holds this angle for the right ramp doorway. Just be careful if you choose to play this angle because your gun will stick out and it can be spotted from the T's if they come out the other doorway, which happens in this round here. Lackey walks through the other ramp door and he spots Tizian's gun. Instead of shooting him right away when he spots him, he lets his teammate Elian know because Elian has the op so Elian can secure the kill which he does here. Very smart play and patience from Lackey not jumping the gun. Poison with an easy and safe way to molly heaven from hut without exposing himself to heaven while in the doorway aims at the vent then left click throw. Also, you want to clear site first before setting up to throw this. Doc CS down lower is going to molly main by throwing it at the pipe here and the molly is going to burn through the floor killing the player above. Sick molly. Matches smokes elevator then mollies off hell and heaven by aiming at this opening in the beam, runs forward and left click throw. Team spirit will use this utility set to take site control and they push up. After plant chopper has a smoke to resmoke elevator making it hard for the CTs to retake. If you're elevator and you want to molly the plant default, the fastest way is to throw it to the left of the wall instead of throwing it off the beam above Tetris because that takes one second longer which we see here, Keto most likely lives had Torzi threw it off the beam. Use this molly only if these smokes are up. Patsy with a cheeky off angle behind this rail to watch ramp setting him up with the 2k. You're going to see here in a bit that Nerds was the first player entering and he overpeaks Patsy and then tries to flick back but was too late doing so. Jota with deep ramp flashes that cover anyone crossing towards the right side. He stands in the front of this rail in the middle, aims here at the crane, runs two steps forward and jump throw. The flash bounces off the crane and lands near yellow blinding PKL. The use of this flash is to set up your teammate who runs it down yellow, but unfortunately for MIBR, PKL recovers for half a second and gets the frag. Nithon is going to smoke left A site and then flash short from behind the sandbag on ramp here. What makes this flash good is that it won't blind your ramp player scaling and will blind any CT short looking towards site. I've shown JT throw these flashes however in that clip there were no CT short. The flash sets up two frags for pain gaming onto the two MIB players short. 
Pain Gaming are going to have two players phase their bottom ramp smoke, one on each side, and Nython will get the frag onto a leech as the smoke fades. This is the first time I've seen this done on Vertigo in pro play. As you know, the most common smoke phase is the double monster smoke on Overpass. Nakis is going to do the same play here except he does it at the start of the round where he drops down ramp and he waits for the smoke to fade, then catches two MIBR players by surprise. Copenhagen Flames have an interesting way to retake stairs on CT side and involves three players. First Yabby smokes top stairs, then him and Xiphon push up with Xiphon towards wood and Yabby towards cat. Meanwhile Hook sees sight and will flash stairs. Afterwards Xiphon jumps on top wood to peek downstairs and Yabby jumps down. Xiphon gets killed and Yabby is able to get trade and get another frag to secure stairs control. A very common position to save on the Vertigo A site is the back platform, and this is where all four EG players are at. Shox will attempt the Doja nade, but unfortunately he throws it too far, but nonetheless, good attempt. Okay, let me show you guys actually the best smoke on all of Vertigo, but nobody in NA uses it yet. I would use it, but perma be in this because it's a bad map. This smoke, this smoke right here is a very good smoke. Bro, if you get ramp control and you throw this smoke. You completely take off their vision. Your opera can come all the way to sandbags, like look for kills, right? Actually, I, I walked a little bit too far on this smoke. It's like, you're supposed to throw it like immediately. But if you throw this, you can like lurk all the way close, get here. You can like look for a pick like this one way. Okay. So all one way, like they don't see you. And then the best part about the smoke is if you get somebody close, you could have your opera smoke elevator like this or something and then you could have a rifler like flash him through the smoke if you throw these flashes they blind everything everything on this bomb site literally like headshot angle there there's a small you could throw mid that goes under the floor into b main you're gonna stand in front of the orange aim at the y then hold w until you're off the wall and left click throw the devs did fix the original way of throwing it the molly, as you can see, isn't that good for mid, but it's decent to delay this tease going to stairs. I've seen this on Reddit. Credit goes to El Grill. In Tropic, I'm going to retake B main using Kraz lane smoke and banana molly. He stands next to the log, aims at this part of leaf, then without moving his mouse, shapes into the back corner, then right and left click jump throw. As for the molly, aim at this part of the wall, then run two steps forward and jump throw. Kraz smoke will block off vision from lane, cheetah, and window to clear close right behind the door. The molly will flush out any CTs playing close bottom banana. This smoke lineup is intended if the door was smoked off by the CTs. Krad does miss a smoke as it leaves a gap in the wood. If you know a better lineup, feel free to share it with me. If you know their T's are going for a mid control mid round, which will typically consist of them mauling mid cubby, smoking window, and flashing out, Hooksy towards window has utility and sees the utility being thrown, which at this point he counters it with his own utility, doing massive damage with the nade, and the smoke will disrupt the mid tag and also gets a frag onto Chauzy. If you are in this position, you want to make sure your teammates are covering your B door. This time around, Hooksy is close mid. He hears the utility being thrown and he counters it again. Asilian chooses to go through the smoke, which he gets punished for. Hooksy is going to get killed from window. If you do choose to play close mid like Hooksy here, make sure to have lane control so you don't get flanked window. Junior has these flashes that are going to land mid cubby to help take mid control on CT side. He stands behind this wall house, aims at the roof, then left click throw. The flashes will land behind his teammates and they blind the T's coming out of elbow. JT rushing banana will molly lane, nade banana, and throws his flash off the ground that's going to blind Taco, setting himself up for the frag. One of the most common positions CT's hold on A is near Donut to watch main. One flash that deals with this position is throwing it off the wall straight ahead of main, which won't blind you as you enter out, but blinds anyone holding near Donut area. It also flashes anyone playing triple. Lackey has flashes that blind the donut player by throwing it inside tempo. These flashes blind Xiphon pushing him back into donut. These tempo flashes will also blind any one tempo but won't blind any CT's backside. They also won't blind you as you entry out main. Taco with a close team mid elbow flash that's gonna blind any CT's pushing up to clear elbow. He stands at this wall near the shadow. He's gonna put his crosshair to the right of this line of the wood, then left click throw. The flash will blind Fang who pushed up to try to clear mid and makes him fall back afterwards. Naf with an easy way to molly cave entrance and back pillar B site. Stand in the middle of lane and in the middle of the wall in front of him. 
aim at the bottom of this plant, run forward with a right click jump throw. So easy a caveman can do it. I've shown CTs throwing a smoke to outside Cheetah as well as flashing and mawing lane from this position here outside Donut. Lastly, you could throw a nade which I haven't seen done yet. Body nades towards lane which lands front Cheetah killing Fartlek. Config holds this off angle for main on top of the sign. It's not a new position, but I have yet to see a frag from this position for whatever reason. Definitely a cheeky angle that can catch the CTs by surprise, but unfortunately for Config, he misses the shots and gets punished doing so. Apex coming out mid and Hooksy towards Donut throws a defensive flash towards above house and he swings out with it getting a nice 3k. The flash blinds Cecilian and forces Chauzy the second player back to not be able to instantly trade. Wizza with only one rifle this round will triple boost Snatchy with the AK lane to peak sight. Usually it's done with the AWP and this is the first time I've seen it done with a rifle. Snatchy is able to spot a player who rotated towards long and he gets that information to where he's going to contact up banana next and he kills that long player opening up the B bomb site. There's a really fast way to smoke long for a rush if you want to. Credit to Hissy for showing me this. So how do you throw this smoke? As you're coming out of this tunnel, you're going to want to swing out until you see this squares here. And then you're going to aim towards the bottom of the right squares. And then you'll run and jump throw when you're towards the top of the ramp. Astralis throw a cheetah smoke at the start of the round and moves to Molly towards window side, preventing anyone to go towards window, then proceeds to spam the smoke, which he kills Blame F behind it. So that's going to be the end of the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment, and share it with your teammates and friends. I greatly appreciate your support. Till next time, Nard out here. Peace.